Hi, I'm Kevin. We're planting potatoes today. Actually, this is my 11th year, right? 11 years of planting potatoes. So as you can imagine, I have lots of tips and tricks to share with you. First up, be sure to plant only certified organic disease-free potatoes. I bought all of these potatoes from a local farm store for a grand total of $1.62. Also, be sure to select only varieties that will store well in winter. Here in the Northeast, good storage potatoes include Yukon Gold, Red Norland, and Kennebec. Next, let the potatoes grow sprouts in a warm, bright location. This is important because sprouted potatoes can be harvested a good two weeks before their non-sprouted kin. And the earlier you can harvest the potatoes, the less chance there is for critters to come along and nibble the crop. Now, in my experience, only small, like egg-sized potatoes, should be planted whole. If you plant a whole large potato, it will produce lots of plants, and at the end of the growing season, you'll have tons of vines and tons of only tiny potatoes. I cut this medium-sized red Norland potato into two pieces, and each piece has two to three eyes. And I cut this Kennebec, which was really gonzo size, into three pieces. Again, each piece with two to three eyes. And what you have to do after you cut is let the potato dry out or callus for uh, 24 to 48 hours. The callus potato won't rot in the ground. And with that out of the way, we can head up to the kitchen garden. So here we are in the kitchen garden. Here's one of the raised beds. It is eight feet long by four feet wide. And since potatoes like loose soil, I'm going to use this garden fork to loosen the soil to a depth of about eight inches, maybe 10 inches. And I'm also going to work in some of this Espoma organic plant tone. It's great stuff. Okay, I don't know if you can see, but I've made two trenches in this bed. I probably could have made three trenches, but I made two. And the depth is about eight inches. So I'm ready to plant the potatoes. And what you do is, if you've cut the potatoes, as I described, you want to place the cut side down in the soil. And ideally, you want to space the potatoes 12 inches apart on all sides. Potatoes are planted, so now we just have to cover them with soil. Potatoes are covered, and as you can see, I still have quite a bit of soil left over from the trench in the middle. And I left that there because as the vines grow, you want to hill the potatoes. So you just take a rake or your hands and add more soil over and in between the vines as they grow. And then, really important, I'm going to kneel down here, uh, as the potatoes grow, invariably, no matter how deeply you've planted the, the tubers, some of the potatoes will end up at soil level, and if light hits them, those potatoes will turn green and you'll have to chuck them. And I don't want to lose any of my crop. So I will add shredded straw or, or chopped straw or some other kind of mulch because you really have to keep the tubers dark. And I don't know why I'm yelling. I have a microphone right here. I hope you can hear me. I'll quiet down now, okay? That's about all there is to um, growing potatoes, except you have to water them. And like most vegetables, potatoes need at least one inch of water per week. Let me show you that we have rigged up just the other day an automatic watering system, which I haven't used yet, but let me show it to you. Yeah, so our handyman John rigged up 
a soaker hose that's attached to another hose, which is in turn connected to a, a faucet over here. And he's done this for all 12 of the raised beds in this garden. So this is going to make watering really easy. When the temperature warms up a little, I'll be able to snake this hose all around the garden beds. The, the watering system is on a timer, so I won't even have to worry about it. Well, I hope you learned something in this potato growing tutorial. If you have any questions or comments, by all means, post them below. And also be sure to subscribe to this YouTube channel just to make me feel good. I'll see you next time very soon. Bye for now.